welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we're in Missoula at the uh, Waldens and we've got a Gleaner combine on here <clears throat> that's going up to oh boy <laughs> that's a better check make sure we get this right yeah Chinook the K&D equipment in Chinook that's kind of cool so uh, we'll look at that on the map real quick here so we're going to head out of uh, Missoula. We're going to go get on Recon's uh, Highway 200, Montana 200, all the way to Great Falls, through Great Falls, and then hang a north and head on over to Chinook. And we got uh, k and cattle. And I guess we got uh, k and equipment out here too. So that's kind of neat. I haven't been to this site before. So, we got, uh, there's prairie sand and gravel. Hmm. I haven't talked about that a little bit on the way in this truck. Because <laughs> there's, uh, yeah, there's something might be happening with this uh, in prairie sand and gravel, too. Probably a skin in the future. Oh, got my mic in the wrong place. Hope that's better. Um, yeah, so uh, we best get in and get going. Uh, I'll come high beams on. There we go. And we definitely need beacons. Got cool beacons on the back of this trailer. I haven't tried to. Eat. Oh, we can't get both of them in at the same picture because the trees. We'll uh, look at it later. Uh, brakes. And cameras in action. I think we're going to just drive out to the left here. Let's do a quick Toby reset. There we go. Now, uh, got a weird dash in here. I've had some trouble with my PCI skin with it's, this is uh, Wednesday, I'm making this video. And uh, last night, Tuesday night, the, uh, I was working away doing some stuff and the PC, it had an update pending I thought, oh darn, might as well just do the update, and it just completely ground the thing into the ground. I don't know what happened there with that update, if it failed or something's wrong, but I tried this morning, you know, I spent uh, an hour or two trying to, and when I did do a bunch of work on this skin, I fixed up the, and I'm not 100% sure I like what I did, the, the front of this right there the front of the um, that lower half of the striper comes forward the uh, pointy bit the silver gold and silver I think it looks crazy I gotta do something about it I gotta fix it make it better and I messed around with that and then by the time I got that far with it the uh, that PC was just turn it to, you know, molasses. It was just taking forever for anything to happen. And uh, that was the same thing that happened last night. And last night, I rebooted it a couple times and I went through the whole thing, look at the diagnostics, see how much memory it was using, what was the CPU doing, and everything looked really normal. Like, I couldn't see anything that I could stick my finger on and fix. And, uh, oh, I don't know what happened. I think I can't remember exactly, but I restarted at one point and it went, it was working and I went, oh, great. So I, uh, did a little work. Can't remember what on. <laughs> I'm so, uh, trust me, I'm so stressed out over it. It's crazy. Anyway, I, uh, did get something done last night. This morning I get up and decide to you know, I was up late last night as a result again because I forgot I still had to upload uh, today's video or Wednesday's video answer comments and all that stuff and shoot so I was uh, to bed late got up late <laughs> start trying to skin and do these repairs I got that far on the front of the thing but it took just to mess with that pointy bit there that was about an hour of frustration so I've re-imaged the PC, so all my files are still there. I've just got to go and add uh, some apps again. I guess I'm going to just, well, it's just going to be Discord and 
paint.net, I guess, for now. Pretty bummed out, but I didn't get to do anything with this truck and the uh, the dash and the uh, cell phone and do something for the uh, all the add-on bits. And this skin for the truck is essentially ready to go for all cabs. But uh, I noticed Pups has been painting uh, a tanker trailer and tank. And I thought, oh man, that would be cool to add uh, to the skin, a uh, Hell Creek Machinery fuel truck. So, uh, I can't do it right now, so the skin's gonna be delayed. And I put this crazy dash in here. <laughs> it is kind of different. When I, when I uh, saw it as an option, I didn't realize it would be so crazy looking. Looks like the gauges are just floating there. It's kind of a neat effect in a way. But, um, yeah, they don't, it's hard to tell that's what it's going to be when you're uh, selecting the options. This thing isn't very heavy, it's cleaner. 18,000 pounds it's showing. So this is one of many cargoes that uh, Recon bought and sent to uh, Ironworks to put on the trailer. And I really wanted to have a look at it. So we got her on here. I guess when the sun comes up a little better, we'll, we'll have a good look at it. those uh, oops the rear beacons on that oversized sign they're doing like I guess they call it an X pattern high on one side low on the other alternating but yeah I gotta get some light on the combine Man, I remember these things when I was a kid like when they came out it was like holy cow look at that they're all galvanized steel and totally different we didn't see very many of them here and there, and when you did, it was a big deal. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't gone uh, in this direction, kind of northeast on 200. Uh, I don't know if, in a video, if we ever have I know I haven't very often, that's for a fact. Oh, here's that, uh, oh no, that's not the new green, is it? There's a new uh, green I saw in the game the other day. Oh, that could be it, yeah. It's kind of like that, I don't know, what did Chrysler call it, or Plymouth, the Sublime Lime? On the Challengers and Roadrunners, or Roadrunner, I guess. Or Cuda. Let's see if we can get back there and see it. Can we get back far enough? Nope. So that's new. I think I actually saw a pink truck the other day. <clears throat> but this, uh, this is looking pretty good on here, this skin, other than messing around with that. I totally changed the uh, shape of that front, you know, that flash there below the stripes. <coughs> I was wanting to give it a little clearance at the front for the uh, factory logo, but it still interferes with it, so fortunately, oh. fortunately on this truck you can uh, 
uh, just go delete the logo and it works out okay. Got a nice pinstripe on the tank. I wonder which of the audio settings is making this whooshing sound. Let's see if you can figure that out because it's ruining the recordings. Uh, what is going on? World behind pure noise. It's like a wind noise, right? Uh, noise of flowing air. Got it off. Open window noise. Oh, wait a minute. That should be only when you open the window. Noise of flowing air. Let's try it, see what happens. Is that a little quieter? Don't know. That's like it's louder, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, maybe that'll be it. Oh, it's too bad we're getting stuck behind somebody on this road. Can't remember if this is urgent or not, but I don't think it is. I was kind of disappointed to see the cargo didn't show up with the boards out on the trailer. Because the uh, tires are just like kind of half on the trailer. And the weight seems suspicious to me, 18,000 pounds for a combine? Mm, I don't know. They are fairly heavy. There's a lot going on inside them. That dude seems to be getting moving all right up there. Doing the speed limit anyway. Oh yeah, oh, we gotta pull in. Well, let's see if it's right. Eighteen thousand. This truck has got to be. I gotta give it twenty-two thousand pounds, like I always do the Kenworths. And if we're shy, that could be part of it, because it could be more like twenty-four with all that stuff on it. Uh, trailer's got to be at least twenty. A forty-four or a forty. Well, let's say forty-two. 50, 60. Well, we would only be 60,000 pounds if everything's right. So, we'll see. Truck is quick. Like, I'm barely stepping on the throttle. What I was looking to haul, I, I kind of wanted to haul also. I was looking at that 773 uh, quarry truck, off road truck. Now, this doesn't really need new uh, cargoes for this trailer. I'm definitely going to. Well, I'm really would like to try some out in the uh, live stream on Saturday. Sixty six eighty nine. So twenty two for the truck and twenty for the trailer worked out within a few hundred pounds. Hmm. Yeah, I think the truck is more than twenty two though, so maybe the trailer is eighteen and the truck's twenty four, I don't know. One of those things gonna have to weigh them. One of these days I should do that. Just Put a whole bunch of trucks in one profile. Well, I kind of did that, you know. Like we're, we're ta oh, I was talking about making this uh, new series for Friday with the vintage trucks and the 80s mod and everything else. And 
Oh boy, I put, uh, I think I got 13 mod trucks in one profile, if you can believe it, and it works. So far, I was able to purchase all three, 13 trucks. I didn't purchase them and fix them up. I just purchased them to see if it was going to not, you know, crash the game or not. And it didn't. And uh, now what I'm going to have to do is go and drive each one and see if that crashes. If it doesn't crash, then I'm going to have to sell all those trucks. And uh, so I don't have them in my inventory. And then the idea is to start up a used truck, vintage used truck trucking company. He's not going to be going and buying these trucks new anywhere, right? So I thought that would be kind of realistic. And, uh, oh, excuse me. So what I did is I got, okay. I put it in the uh, 80s America mod map, whatever. Map, or sorry, mod. It just makes everything kind of 80s. I didn't really see anything change. It was weird. Put in um, uh, no modern traffic. That was a bust because all that did was show the 53 Chevy pickup truck was everywhere. I put in the classic truck and trailer pack. I didn't put in Jazzy Cat's traffic pack because I get so annoyed with it. The car's going 60 and 75 mile an hour zones and the truck's all backing up behind him and he can't get through it and uh, if you're in a hurry to get somewhere it's just impossible with that mod even on freeways like you know interstates you're, you're screwed anyway so uh, we had the classic trucks we had the for a little bit no modern traffic and the 80s mod and uh, yeah, uh, when I and then I thought, well, okay, I got all my trucks in here. Let's see what happens. I guess maybe I'll give a chance to spawn some trucks in the used market by uh, doing a long trip. So I did a an 1,100 mile trip in that profile to see, you know, just see if during that long trip would make things happen and stir around and get something going in the used truck market nope got to the end of the trip 1100 and some odd miles later and there was zero old trucks there was three trucks one page three trucks in the used truck market it was like western star and i don't know really disappointed so i don't know if that good idea i had is gonna actually bear fruit yeah pretty disappointing so but I got a whole bunch of, I got like jeez I got a, a, a whole minimum four skins right now waiting just finishing touches and updating uploading and I'd really like to get some of those done before the weekend, so guys can have something new for the weekend. So I don't know how much time I'm going to spend on that. Might have to wait another week. I get a chance to try and make something happen that's going to be worth uh, making a little video series out of. So we're coming up to the left turn for uh, Hart Butte. There's trucks coming out on the left. You went up there, you'd go to uh, take a left up that away over the hill, get to uh, Hart Butte. So that would be the Prairie Sand and Gravel Quarry and the Hart Butte uh, Horse Ranch and the Bison location. And if you go over the mountain, you can get to that forestry site uh, between Hart Butte and East Glacier and then you could go on into East Glacier if you want over there is all kinds of stuff to do including the uh, ice water ice mountain water site lots going on
Yeah, so I don't think there's going to be much detail in that cap. I don't know. Well, a little. Sort of see a control panel in there. And uh, the roof cam doesn't work in this truck. I don't know if it did before, and I just... Missing one of gamers' mods in this profile, I don't know. There's some cool cargoes, all right, for this this trailer now. Hmm. I think there'd be a stop sign right here. I don't have a voice nav bagging at me here. Well, we might get slowed down in time here. What's going on with the light? Yeah, we might get something here. Uh, going into the other side. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a uh, bunch of different things on this weekend's uh, live stream. Definitely going to um, hop in. I haven't driven Ruta's uh, Ram 350 yet, but I, I have the uh, Montana Express skin for it. I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, I've only just I've configured a truck, sat in it, did the interior and stuff, but i got to get it on the road, try it out and might do that on uh, Saturday. A lot of you responded that you do have it. I asked the question in that video with the Right Lane Gaming F450. like that uh, gamer sent me a link to the Frank Brazil's free uh, 86 OBS like the old body style Ford it's cool I really like it really like it it's not, and for a free mod it's pretty darn good and I'm uh, I think gamer was saying he might have a paid version of it and if there is I, I'd be interested in looking at that be kind of cool. So what can we see now in this combine? 
whoops, too far, too, what's going on here? Let's just try and sneak up on it. Oh, darn, what's above us here? There's something up there. Oh, lamp posts. They always mess it up. God, if only they can't, there it goes again. If only the camera could ignore it. So we'll have to look at it from back here. Oh, stop that. Yeah, I remember. Pretty swoopy looking one to <laughs> get rid of the ones back in the day when they came out. But uh, I wonder if they're still made of galvanized steel. Or are they just painted silver? And they were like, uh, you know, the uh, thing was interesting about them. It looked like they were made of uh, s just flat sheets of galvanized and everywhere there's a 90 degree bend instead of doing a bend with a metal brake. It was like it was a uh, piece of uh, angle iron, you know, and the panels bolted to those angle irons to make a 90 degree. That's what I seem to remember about the early ones. It's just welcome to the bank, I guess. Oh, here, yeah, now maybe we can look at... Oh, oh, there it goes again. I guess that's just a function of the camera. That's too bad. Oh, rolling right through the intersection. Not paying attention. What's going on in the hopper? Flat in the bottom? How's that going to work? Oh. Oh, uh, that's weird. Locations just up there, the other side of those falls. Well, it's taking a while to get through town here. left lane. If we can get over here, is that guy good? Yeah, he's gonna give it up. <laughs> Scared the pants off him. Oh, shoot. I was, oh, I was completely unnecessary. I didn't need to scare that poor guy. He's back there cursing away at me. We got a bus in front of us. We got ourselves a hot rod truck here. What's going on up there? Yeah, I'd probably have to go over 80 to get around them. So we give that an idea a rest.
I hummed around that corner okay. Can't be the regular bus driver on this route. <laughs> You're really giving those old gals out there a ride. <laughs> That's funny. They're all in there. <laughs> Hanging onto their purses and screaming a little bit. <laughs> oh, lordy. <laughs> I've mentioned it pretty often in the in the videos in the past. We had a school bus driver when I was a kid. Like, I, I was out in the country, right? We had to go into town to go to uh, high school. Because there wasn't one out in the Thule's. And uh, so it was like, I mean, I don't know, an hour long bus ride every morning and at night. And uh, there's a Trans Canada Highway, like the big, you know, east to west road right through the country. And that was part of it in the trip, but the first half of the trip would be on that. And then old Johnny would pull off and he'd go up a uh, connecting road to what we just called the old highway. And it was awesome, like windy and up and down, and it was like, you know, I grew up driving, my, you know, learned to really fly in motorcycles on there, and my, uh, when I was, what, I was a 16, 17, I bought a wrecked 67 Mustang and fixed it up to help with my brother, and uh, anyway, so lots of fun, great road race. Anyway, old Johnny, he loved driving that road too, <laughs> and uh, those school buses, I'm telling you, they handle pretty good. I didn't lean a whole lot or anything, and well, we were all light little kids, and, but uh, he would get a, so this, you know, the school buses are like, if you've ever been on one as a kid, they're loud, and the guys are wrestling with each other, being goofs, and the gals are all trying to have a little hand party somewhere in a corner, and it's pretty raucous in there, and uh, going down the highway, and everybody's just, you know, cutting up and being crazy. Oh, I'm like, uh oh, what happened here? I got myself out of gear again. Uh, so anyway, um, then Johnny would be doing the slowdown to go up that little half mile connector road to get up to the old highway and people would start to calm down a little bit and uh oh, <laughs> get ready. And by the time you got up to the old highway on that connector making the left turn, it'd be quiet. <laughs> Everybody just, everybody's just hanging on, trying to figure out what they're going to hang on to, because old Johnny's going to, and he wasn't going over the speed limit, he's just driving the speed limit, but it was exciting on that road, the speed limit, and uh, it was awesome, I loved it, I loved it, it was awesome. Uh, other bus drivers, you know, they would, uh, they had this old guy, Oscar Laverne, and he would, uh, he was different. Really friendly, didn't speak a word of English, but uh, he was French and uh, French Canadian, of course. And, um, but he would say hello to every kid as you get on the bus. He'd say, hello, 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 <laughs> each one. Uh, he'd say, goodbye, 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 uh, each kid as he got off. Big, round, friendly face, big, round guy. Super friendly, nice dude. But, uh, and he would just stroll down that section of highway. He was treating us like his own mother or his grandma, you know? And you get in with Johnny and it's, whoa, hang on. <laughs> yeah, good times. Ah, scale, darn, what's the best way? I think we go straight in, don't we? Follow that truck. We can come straight out the other side. Well, see if we lost any weight. It was 60,000, I think, 600 around there. 60,689 or something. See how many pounds of fuel we lost? Maybe a couple hundred? Let's see. Oh, we better get slowed down. I'm going too fast there. for my rolling scale. Let's 
60,400. Yeah, we lost 280 pounds or so. Lost is right. It's money. Gone. <laughs> ah, you got to spend money to make money in this game. No free lunches in the trucking business. Right on, Chinook, here we come. 28 miles, but we gotta go right through Haver, so it's gonna be uh, slow miles. And scale, you know, closer to scale miles. We won't have that 19 to one thing out in the country. Watch how fast they tick down. We're at 27 now. We'll see how long it takes for a mile to go by. There's 26. So off the top of the hill by the hotel back there. Let's see where a mile gets marked off. So, uh, Ruta is a big announcement, eh? It's pretty wild. They're going to have working odometers in the trucks. That's freaking awesome. I just, that was really cool. Time drive, keep one eye on that odometer over here. I guess, I'm, oh, I could probably, well, it depends if they changed at the same time on the dash, I guess not. I don't, I, that would be kind of random. That's kind of neat, because I guess all they got to do for the working odometer is just get it to read off of the trip odometer in the game. Because they're getting the data on everything in the game, like I do this on the throttle and attack moves and the turbo boost. That's game data. That's not from their truck. That's coming from the control set going through the game. And their truck just picks it up and sticks it on the appropriate instrument, I guess. Kind of assuming that's how it works. 25 there. Okay. So that's a mile up to the top of that hill back there. Uh, see, oh, see what one's like in the country. Could be a lot shorter than that. See the big hotel up on the hill. So that's a city mile from here to there. In the game. Oh, and here's that powder blue uh, paint job again. Oh, and the other thing, like, so the rumor is today, Wednesday, that the day you're watching this, Thursday, there's snow. And a little treat map thing from SES, and if that's true, well, I'll be getting a video out today on that. So uh, we can get a look at that, see what that's all about. I don't mind that blue, that's pretty nice. And it's not all washed out looking in the sun. I guess it's not metallic. Now, if we get out into the Thule's, and we'll see how fast a mile goes once we clear the city limits. Of course, we're gonna be moving faster, but we'll get an idea of the distance and give you an idea what's going on because the city is I think excuse me six to one ratio and the country's 19 to one in terms of real miles so in the country 19 real miles goes by in the space of one mile in the game so that's how you're able to get where we go in the hurry that we do 
All right, we should be far enough out of town. I'll start looking over there. Well, I can look at the dash, I guess. Now, trip distance 315 just changed. 316. Wow, we didn't even make it to this corner. <laughs> 17, 18, 19, 20. 21. So you see how fast the miles go by when you get in the country. And here's Chinook. It was 28 miles to go when we were 20 something at the end of town there. And all of a sudden we're down to 11 miles. 10 miles. Let's see if it starts slowing down here. 9 miles. Still going quick. 8. Oh, it counts. This doesn't count as a city, I guess. Seven, no. Seven's holding. Okay, so, no, went down to six too soon, so. Uh oh. All right, this is new. Never been down here before. Let's see if we can kind of make a roof view here. See what's going on. Yeah, flat bottom in there or what? That is kind of strange. Now usually, well, they'd be sloped to one side. Now where's the uh, unloading auger? Oh, there it is there. So it'd be sloped to that side. Let's see if we can pick anything up in there. Is there something? No, we can't see. Oh, boy, they got our parking zone already laid out on the ground. Oh, well, that's kind of too easy. So this is Chinook K&D equipment. I guess we got shoots over there, yeah. We got hay or something in the back, maybe green. There's a baler and a tractor back there, that's cool, look at that. Up in the background. Huh. Pretty neat. Uh oh. <laughs> Ran out of steam here. Let's work up the boiler again. There we are. Lights. <clears throat> 326. Very nice. Well, that was cool. So this skin, uh, really unfortunate about the PC over there. I would add, uh, well, I'll probably be able to get it going. I'll get a link to this skin in the video because I got the rest of the day to do it. And uh, so it's going to work on all cabs. I guess I got to move that GVW down. It's in the rivets there. Huh. So, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, well, yeah, I got to do something with that front. I'm, I'm not happy with that. It doesn't look good at all that lower thing I got to do it more like the one on the right but nah, I don't know what to do I'll come up with something something that looks better than that it's like a bit of an afterthought dogs breakfast thing oh yeah and then once again Hell Creek machinery on the on the trailer and that open death I'll put it um, uh, it's it works on this end the Jeep and I'll put that on uh, my discord when I get around to it, shouldn't be too awful long. That's going to be custom one. Custom zero is Hell Creek Heavy Haul in the open def. So, great trailer. Very nice. Thanks for following along, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.